Okay, so, you so want... this, this is John King. I'm here with Peggy. Peggy, what's your last name? Chilcote. And you are an, I, I guess, some kind of an administrator when it comes to the I'm election. I'm a senior process. election aide. A senior election aide. And you look at uh, signatures for people that come in, right? Yes, and we verify you, a voter signature. If you're like me and you read your ballot just today, right, mm -hmm. I double-checked, and it says lots of rules about my signature. Yes. And so I was really concerned because my signature has changed over time. Yes, in fact, we're, we're even gonna we're even gonna show <laughs> some people. So like, this is my signature, kind of recently. What's this is from? 2012. Okay, now go back to one of my older ballots, and you can you can see here that I am I am not consistent. This is mine from a past year, and so when when this sort of thing pops up, like, am I out? Does that mean my vote is not going to count, or what no, happens? No, if we can find, you have actually three different images here. And if mm -hmm. we can find an image that will match what you currently are signing, then we will accept it. Okay, so how do you know that the images haven't been faked? How do you know someone else isn't signing my, my name? Well, we will look at the starting letter of your first name uh -huh. and the starting letter of your last name. Okay. And if we see consistencies that are matching what you have on your ballot, then those are two points that we can take it by. We look at the tailing letters at the end of both first and last names. Okay. Um, sometimes you have to use your imagination and stretch or sink, shrink a signature <laughs> if it is on a DMV. Sure. Well, let's go to uh, let's go to my more recent uh, my more recent uh, signature here. So my my signature is a mess. It's like six lines at this point. Like, but is that is that something that's easy or hard for you to tell? Actually, this type of signature at times is easier because you can see the swoops. The angles, you, you compare it, you hold the ballot right up to the bottom of the screen. And do you have like training? Is there like a FBI detective that comes by no. and makes sure that it's all? <laughs> we just have a booklet of Secretary of State standards of accepting a ballot and looking okay. at signatures. And so when a ballot goes through and you get it and you open this up and it's John King's ballot, but my wife has signed it because we've accidentally swapped ballots, what do you do then? That is called a signature mismatch and we wait until the other parties comes in, hopefully the same day would be nice. So if I, if we turn our ballots in on the 25th, for example, yes, and we have this problem, will our votes go through or not? Yes, they will, because we will fix that by matching the mailing label to match the signature on the envelope. So and you'll so just we go will back reject and... reject them to, for starters. Okay. Once we can marry up the envelopes of matching signatures to people, then we will correct that with a new label, and then they'll be accepted and taken in. Nice marry. M marry yeah. them up, right? <laughs> we will marry so, them. So, so, but how do you know that you have the right couple? I mean, you can't, you don't um, do like a... I can't show you on this screen, but we have a opportunity to go to households for okay. voters who are registered at the same address. Now, let me just ask you a question. Let's say my wife really was in support of another candidate and I was in support of a different candidate. Yes. And she over eagerly decided to vote for me and send it in. Would I be notified that the, that my ballot had been cast? And would, uh, if, if I was If you tried to come in and also vote and you sat down to receive your ballot, it would say that it was already received. Oh. If, and so we would catch it there before issuing you another ballot. Gotcha. So we at that point would know that somebody else had already sent in your labeled ballot. Okay. But unless I go and pursue it, I might not ever know. You may not ever know. All right. Well, hey, so. that's a lot to learn. Thanks so much. There's a lot to the life of the As you can see, the elections office is not so busy right now, but uh, the ballot should start pouring in tomorrow, right? I imagine it'll be like chickens in a coop in here. Everybody it will busy. be. Every station, I'll have seven people in here verifying signatures. The drop-off opens up at 7 in the morning, and we'll go until 8 o'clock. All right. Well, hey, thanks for uh, joining us. <laughs>